Owies! Oh, hi there. Welcome back to night number seven of the 11 nights of Halloween. It's a sad day for me. I gotta go out and bury our family pet. Oh, I mean, he's not dead or anything. I just stepped in his poop this morning, and I am not dealing with it. Digging graves is a sad profession. I don't know how anybody can do it for a living. And for the grave digger in tonight's story, his sadness comes by the shovel load. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Have you ever heard that quote? If that saying means that the cemeteries are filled with those that we can't possibly live without, then I would say that it's absolutely correct. You lose a friend, you lose a family member, you lose a co-worker, they usually end up buried someplace just like this. Unless they're cremated, of course. But I think you get my meaning. Someone we care about dies and we can't seem to let go of them. We cling strongly to life, and we mourn the loss of it. That's really human nature. But it's also in our nature to cling to memories, and those we shared them with. That's what makes letting go so hard. I only started digging graves recently. Every night that I come up here and look at the headstones surrounding the cemetery, I can't help but think about all the caskets below, the holes that were dug to hold them, the grieving families standing by as their loved ones were lowered into the earth and covered with soil. I'm sorry if that sounds morbid. It's not meant to. I don't know most of the people buried here. Some of these graves are over a hundred years old, but I do have family here. I wasn't the one that dug their graves or buried them, but I saw both happen. One day there's a fresh pile of loose dirt sitting just outside an open grave. The next day there's a casket being lowered into the ground, with family members throwing flowers and small handfuls of dirt onto the lid. When my family members were buried here, I couldn't bring myself to do either of those things. I thought maybe it was just cowardice on my part. Or even some feeling like if I were the one to place even a small amount of dirt onto the casket, that I was essentially telling them good riddance, and that fear kept me out of the cemetery after that. I never visited my parents' graves. Not on the anniversary of their passing, not on their birthdays, not even on holidays. Being here, even like this, was a huge step for me. It's certainly not ideal, but it's a start. My biggest regret in all of this was that I never even told them I loved them while they were alive, nor did I tell them goodbye when they passed away. Mom? Dad? I wanted to say that I love you both. And this might sound crazy, but I... You there with the shovel. What are you doing here? Cemeteries are closed at dusk. Officer, could you please give me a minute? I'm just, uh, finishing digging this grave for the funeral service tomorrow. Funeral service? This cemetery hasn't been used in 30 years. Hey, hey, put that shovel down. I better start digging a hole for this guy. I really didn't want to do that. I swear. But he wasn't stopping me from saying goodbye to my family. First things first, though. Just got to dig mom and dad up. I want to see the look on their faces when they see me here. I bet they'll be surprised. I've got a lot of digging to do.